Hello! Today I would like to show you how to bait a rat trap to get the rats 99% of the time. Now most people bait their rat in mouse traps with peanut butter, spreadable cheese, things like that. Then you go out and check the trap later that day or the next day. It's licked clean and it hasn't been sprung. Well, I'm going to show you how to bait these to get them 99% of the time. All right, let's go to the workbench and get started. All right, I got the camera moved in to the workbench. Now, of course, you're gonna need a rat trap for this tutorial. And you can pick these up in your local hardware store, Walmart, heck, some grocery stores will even sell these, but you're going to need a trap. Now I'm going to show you two different ways to bait these. Um, the first one is going to get them 90 some percent of the time and then I have my ultimate technique of baiting these which gets them 99 pretty much 100 percent of the time. I've never went out and found a trap not sprung with uh, no rat or nothing in there. So, what we'll do is first, got to open the trap up, get it out of the package. There we go. There, we don't need that. Now, of course, you can see here there's a staple you got to remove before you can arm it. But um, I'll do that later. That um, doesn't really have anything to do with this tutorial. Now, you got your rat trap. Next, you're going to need some bait. Now, like I said before, peanut butter, spreadable cheese is what most people use on their traps. I'm sorry, you put that on here, you're given the rat 90% of the time a free snack. They're going to lick it clean, you're going to come out, find it not sprung, and it's clean. Well, this is what you need to use. Cat food or dog food is my first suggestion. Now, you don't have a, a cat or a dog, well, don't worry. Cereal. Right here, I got some Cheerios. You can use Cheerios. Otherwise, um, a couple other options would be like dried nuts, um, dried corn, anything that a rat's going to eat that's dry. And the reason why. The next thing you're going to need is one of these. A hot glue gun. Now, this is easy to do. You just plug in, warm up your hot glue gun right here on the metal trap tab. You just put a bunch of hot glue on there, not too much, just enough to cover it real quick. And then take some of your cat food or Cheerios or whatever and then put it on there and then hold it for a moment. Now, the reason why this works better than the peanut butter and cheese is They've got to chew on this, and most likely they're going to latch onto it with their mouth and try to pull it away, bring it home for later or whatever. And that's going to set the trap off almost every time. With peanut butter or cheese, there's nothing for them to latch onto, and they're just going to sit there and lick it clean. And <laughs> you ain't going to get the rat. Not going to happen. I mean, when I used to use peanut butter on my rat traps and my mouse traps, uh, every 10 times the trap was baited, I'd maybe get one. <laughs> when I started hot glue gunning the bait to the trap, almost every time I had one on a very rare occasion, the trap would be sprung with nothing in it. And it just probably was I was using a mouse trap and a mouse got in here and got lucky. He was sitting in just the right position that 
This didn't hit him. But uh, if it would have been a rat on there, it would have got him. Definitely would have gotten him. Now, tip number two on how to bait these, which is really going to pull the rats in. You're going to need either some little wire, and I've got some uh, thin copper wire here. This is magnet wire, or a piece of string. And you're going to want a chicken wing end. Now, you make chicken wings, you eat it all except that little bit, the very tip of the wing. Most people don't even try to nibble the meat off it, and there really isn't any. There's just the breading. And what you do is you put that on here, and then either wrap it and tie it down real tight with a piece of string, or I do recommend the wire as being the best way to put it, but if you don't have any, the string will work. Now this is really going to drive nuts. They're going to grab that, and they're going to try pulling, and you're going to get them 100% of the time if you bait it this way. 100%. And um, sorry, I don't have a chicken wing in, in to put on here right now. I'm actually going to be baiting this trap later because, um, unfortunately, I got a weasel in my house. <laughs> and uh, the mouse trap won't work for a weasel, but these will. The rat traps work to get them. Um, he got in a fight with my cats the other night, and I thought that chased him off. But this morning, I seen him in the bathroom, and... Well, I live in an old school house, so it's not like a new house where it's hard for them to get in. They get in here a lot easier. But uh, I'll be baiting this, and uh, the chicken's in the oven right now. As I'm shooting this video, and when I get done eating, I'm going to take some of this magnet wire, tie that chicken wing tip on here, and put that in the uh, the bathroom where I seen the weasel today and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get them now before we go there is one more little trick I want to show you because with rats and also the weasels they will eat each other and um, over the years I I also have chickens so I have rats outside and I use these and I first started putting traps out I lost half my traps they eat each other and when you get one they'll pull the whole trap with them on there in a rat I mean this thing don't weigh nothing is gonna pull them away otherwise it might have been a weasel that pulled the rat away or if I had a weasel in there it might have been a rat that pulled the weasel away to eat them they eat each other they're uh, carnivorous and they'll They'll eat anything, meat, plant, vegetable, anything. So to keep your trap from getting taken away, a trick I came up with, just a small scrap piece of plywood. It just has to be big enough where when they're on there, they're not really going to be able to get their feet on the ground or anything to pull it away. And this one's actually heavy enough where... Even if they grab the edge of it, they ain't moving it. And it's just a piece of scrap plywood. And then put the trap in the middle. Um, take a drill bit and drill two small pilot holes, only like one here and one back here. And then put a small screw in there. Screw it down. Um, if you don't have that option, you got the hot glue gun. Hot glue gun the back of it quick and press it on there. And if you press it on sideways by accident, it's still going to work. It's just going to keep them from dragging this away. If you don't have a piece of uh, scrap plywood, at minimum, like in the one of the corners or sides, put a screw in and then tie a piece of string around it. Now, I would use wire if you have it, otherwise maybe a small chain, uh, like the stuff from your ceiling fans and your uh, lights, that chain you pull, and attach a piece of that and then wrap that around something. You just want to make sure that they can't drag these off because they are cannibals. They are cannibals. 
And I also recommend this when my mouse traps, I've got small pieces like this too, because if I get a mouse out in the garage, a rat or a weasel comes along, they'll drag it off. And you killed them, but your trap's gone. And you can reuse these. I usually get quite a few uses out of them before they start wearing out. I mean, they're not built to last forever, and the staples that hold them together start coming out. And <laughs> Well, that's uh, my tips and tricks on how to bait rat trap to get that sucker. Um, like I said, put peanut butter on there. You're giving them a free snack, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So, well, I hope you found this information useful. You did. Please give me a thumbs up. Appreciate it. And uh, if you try this out, leave a comment uh, down below, and let us know how your experience with baiting them this way is compared to using the peanut butter. All right, have a great day, and I hope you catch rats and mice using this, this technique.